check it out, y'all. Once again, it's your boy Pop from the Barbershop, the Real Vibe Podcast. And today, we got my brother Tank. One half of the Blue Camp Play, one half of the Combo Brothers, part of the Duck Down family, Brooklyn Zone. Man, it's too much to even say, man. A legend, y'all. Y'all already know what it is, man. Tech, tell them a little something. Right here, live and direct, streets of Brooklyn, Myrtle Avenue, don't get no hella. What's happening? All right, Ted. How you got in the industry? How you and how you and your partner still linked up and became like Smith and Wesson? Well, all right. So that's a two-part joint. We became Smith and Wesson from my partner, which is still. He was doing uh. He was the first one that started, that picked up the pen before I did. He wrote my first verse for me anyway. So uh, we met in like our first years of high school through our brother Cookie Head from the Boy Project. And uh, we formed a, it wasn't even a group with us yet. It was just fucking with each other, you know what I mean? Vibing with brothers and uh, the same tribe. Then um, I had to go to night school, fucking around in high school. I had to go to night school, and I bumped into Wap Shot Sister Tracy. And she kept telling me about her brother. Yo, my brother this, my brother that. Man, he do all this. And come to find out, her brother was Wap Shot. But at the same time, she telling me about Wap. She telling still about it, Wap in a whole different area. You know what I mean? So when we finally got together, we were like, oh. This was what was on fire. Man. We had just dropped the uh, Who Got the Props joint. Uh, he dropped the Who Got the Props single with B minus. We started opening up for Black Moon, for Duck Down Records. We're here right now. So, how did the joint come about with y'all jumping on the Mary J remix? Oh, the Mary J remix came, but we had a show. At, we had just finished doing a video, the Buck 'em Down remix video. So you know how we was, they just had camo everything. We was already on the military mind and shit, robbing camo from the helmets to the socks, boots. And that same night when we finished, we had a show at the Intrepid that night. And Big just happened to be performing at the Intrepid that night too. So once me and Big, you know how uh, we were rocking already. Once we bumped in the big, he's like, oh shit, that One thing led to another, Puff seen us on stage, he's like, yo, I'm gonna try to do a remix. And this one, he was just coming out with Craig Mack, he had the Big Mac attack, the big Craig Mack shit. And um, he was like, yo, come down to the studio, I want y'all to get on this, this uh, remix show, I'm working on an artist. He's gonna be the next queen of hip hop on beat, having a with Jay. You know, at that time, they was running it. I was, I was like, hey, 100,000 for the ring. <laughs> <laughs> he was like, 100,000, that's what yeah. he did. He said, <laughs> They was giving that money up like nothing back then. Nigga, yeah, that nigga said, nigga, I go get so and so and so and get them 2,500, which I want to do. I said, fuck it, man, we'll take that. We ain't leaving no money on the table. Right. To this day, she told me that's one of her favorite remixes that, you know. After they ever come out that way, so thank you, Mary, Luke, thank you, Buff, thank you, Robin. So while we talk about features, you wanna let them know what's good, everybody? You wanna let them know who else you got songs with? Better question, probably. That's, who that's I don't what, have songs with. You wanna let them know that the, the, the catalog? I mean, we got songs with some of everybody you bring, man. Of course, Mary J. I never got the chance to physically record with Jay, because that was my brother. Uh, got songs with Wild Clef, got songs with Bouncy Killer, we got songs with KRS, Mad Lion, Styles P, uh, Culture Pusher, and Flash, we got songs with Freeway. Uh, Do y'all see who this is, man? This goes on, man. Do y'all see who this is, man? There's so many out there, but. You know who I really need a song with? I need a song that's produced by Primo. It's way overdue. We never had a premiere track with Smith and Wesson, and I, I think that's that's for the culture right there, definitely. Well, Primo, if you see this, you already heard it. Straight from Tech. Smith and Wesson, Primo track.
need that to happen? Come on, man. Let's put that together, man. Brooklyn love right there, man. What's going on? Mm-hmm. So, all right, Tank, here we go. We fast forward to 2024. You still think, did you ever think that you will still be doing what you're doing right now to this day? But you still just as relevant as now was in back then. Well, all here, I did not. Uh, you know what we was doing when we was coming out right now. Popping dice games and dice. doing everything. And at that time, hip hop was, it wasn't the billion dollar business that it is right now today. So, you know, everybody at that time thought it was a fad and we was just doing something that we, we love to do, which was bang on tables and make raps when you even know how to format songs, format songs, counting balls and everything. That all came with learning the business, how to conduct yourself, do interviews, how to put your, your team and move around together. So, but nah, I, I didn't even think, I didn't even think we're making the C25, man. And, God willing, Allah Almighty, and bless us. That's what's up, that's what's up. So, I was just thinking, like, God damn. Y'all got so many albums. We got seven, oh. seven studio recording albums now. The eighth album dropped this year, called Infinity, produced by Night One and the Soul Oh, yeah, I just see you all. I just see you start promoting it. Yeah, yeah. We, we, and Night Wonder is fire. Night Wonder is one of the best producers. Man. If you don't and know what he got on his belt, you better do your own. That's right, man. Google, Google Night Wonder. Wow. Night Wonder, Google Smith & Wesson, Google Tech, Google Stair. Wow. Y'all see Brooklyn fighters, Brooklyn legends. Yeah. So what's good, man? I, I see, uh... Damn, Tech, you be everywhere, man. <laughs> I ain't gonna lie, you be everywhere. You be on the side. You gotta keep the motion going, out of sight, out of mind. Yo, know, how, how do y'all stay, like, overseas like that? Like, I see y'all always over there. I think, uh, really, it's the, it's, the, it's the grace of God, man, but... I think when we when we really did get a chance to drop and make an album, which was the shine in our first album, we came out of such a, a great time that music was coming out and acts was coming out that our poor audience grew with us as we grew, you know what I mean? And then you got generations that come under them that they uncles introduced them to the music, they moms, they pops. So I think we 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 was in a ditch in the loop when music that was being made was timeless music and good music, soulful music and meaning, meaning music that had meaning to it and substance in the words and the beats and everything. And um, like I said, we just blessed by the most high to still be moving around, be able to. And I want you to say like, yo, you, you want to hear this, my nigga? I ain't saying that shit because you my man and I definitely appreciate you man, because when I called you and asked you, you say, yo, let's get it. So, at the end of the day, my nigga, I love you. It's always love. Yeah, you always love. You always love. We hold it down, man. I appreciate it. Brooklyn forever, man. So, other than that, Tech, what you got coming up, man? Besides the album, I know you got coming. Uh, sir, with the Smith & Wesson, we have the eighth album, titled Infinity, coming this year. Also got a group that I'm working with called the Culture Pushers, which is me and my partner, Flash, from Jersey. Flash is in my fire and killing shit. Be on the lookout, we just did the On The Radar joint. We got the, uh, we actually got another European tour coming up, starting in September. We're gonna put a, uh, a tri-state tour starting this July. Hopefully by the time they see this, they'll be able to patch in with us and catch it somewhere in the days. Y'all can come through, grab the exclusive footage. Let's go. 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 Uh, a beef with Smith and Wesson. You see the rap beef going on. What you think about the rap beef, Tank? I mean, I, I, me personally, I never got into that shit. What's beef? Beef is when blood is on the ground and your bones can't stop the jeep. You know how it goes. So um, that shit is nothing but entertainment. But we give respect, so we we demand respect. We get respect. I'm not. 
run of these young niggas. My born day just passed. I went around the earth another time and gained wisdom from age, from, from, from putting the pay and not just having a great beard. So, you know, we know how to carry ourselves. To each his own. We was them young niggas at one time, too. So, what you, uh, what you think about our homies sitting here today? What you think about our homies sitting I'm praying for you. Man, that's all I can do. I make do. I hope he finds his way. I always say, man, you can't, you, can't, you can't judge a man and call him guilty and he'll be in charge. Yeah, I, I wasn't in none of them situations in the room, so I don't know what to do. Like, you know what I mean? so, like you said, I'm praying for him. Huh? That's it. Yeah, because everybody's bashful right now. Like, it's, it's fucked up to do certain things. And that's true, you know what I'm saying? When I see the little video, I was kind of tight, but who the fuck ain't never have a fight with their girl? They probably ain't go to the stinky with yeah. but anybody that had a, a one-time rumble with wifey, but at least one time. At least. You know what I'm saying? At that least. could have been one time for him, they never know, but you know that the media is right? Mm -hmm. That shit was nasty, right? Yo, look at we out here in Brooklyn, man. It's nice out here too, Tex, man. Beautiful, beautiful. It's nice out here. You know, I don't get to come home much, man. Ah, that's why I said, let's do it right on the ass. We do it on the hood. You know what I mean? And got the Mozzie parked up behind us. That's so right. You know we straight. You know what I'm saying? And we got my man, Don't Take a Boy, Zaire, the camp. I can't leave my niggas out here, right? Yeah, without, yeah. without him, it ain't gonna work. That's the beautiful part about it, too, man. Niggas be wanting to own 100% of nothing instead of 50% of something and don't get the picture. Yo, know, you know what I was thinking, Tech? I was like, yo, man, we can leave a really put together Brooklyn tour, man. Tech, I mean, you still see MOP move the three. Yeah, that, that would be the same. What else we got, man? We got a bunch of them. 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 We got a bunch of Oh, that would be amazing. That would be crazy. I don't even think nothing like that even been done before. Like one borough just mashing up, moving around the city. Before. I don't think I heard nothing like that. I probably got to No, we go. One thing I ain't gonna say. I mean, one thing I can't lie about. Yo, your Instagram is proper, kid. My shit. That's right. That shit be proper, man. I mean, I'm just connected with the streets, you know what I mean? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm, I just yeah, yeah, yeah. put it out there. I'm about to start doing some new shit on it to help people get their they life together. You know? A little credit help and this shit like that, you know? Now, Teaching you the kids. You got to, man. You got to give it back. Because, like I said, we was the knuckleheads at one time, too. And if somebody ain't get it done, we probably wouldn't even be there. Tell them where you're playing that. Oh, you can find it at Tech Smokey Live. T E K S M O K E E L A H. That's the one and only. I don't know about nothing else. Alright, y'all. Knocking out features and all that. How you grab it? Come correct. You need a feature hit your shit better. You want to work. It's got to work. Serious inquiries only. 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 He's not going to talk to you and keep telling you this. Why? If it ain't about money, he's not going to answer. Let hey, you know that right now. Nah, nah, no, no. I might answer if it ain't about money, but if you're talking about money, he, the situation will get handled quicker and better. Or it got to be a good split thing. There you go. That's the only way it can work, man. There you go. That's the only way he's going to talk to you. But you still got to be serious. Yo, Tech, I love you, my nigga. I ain't even gonna hold you up, man. I appreciate you. Appreciate you, my nigga. The Real Vibe Podcast. Tech, Brooklyn legend. Y'all know what it is, Zion.